Hey guys, Mikey here bringing you a uh, video how to set up your Litecoin L3 miner from Bitmain. Okay, so I got one of these miners and there's not a lot of instruction that comes with these things. You know, the, uh, the instructions in the box don't really show you how to do anything at all. So I thought I'd make it a lot easier for you guys to, to see how to do it all. Now, once you plug your miner in, all you need is power and it needs to be connected to the network, okay, to your internet. They come standard with uh, what's called DHCP. What that means is you'll automatically generate a, a local IP address from your router. So you need to log into your modem or router. Okay, there'll be a section in your modem or router about attached devices and you can find it in the list. Okay, so see, these are some of my other miners, but it'll be called Ant Miner. Okay, so if you plug one in at a time, you can find the IP address of it. Okay, which is this number here. So you open up your browser, okay, and we go to that number, 0.13. The default login, it'll come up with a username and password. It's uh, just root and root as the uh, default login. So you can see down here, type DHCP. This is the address that we've logged into. Um, the only thing you need to do in these miners realistically is under the miner configuration tab, this is where you change what pool you want to mine on so if you've got a specific pool in mind you know you can come in here and google this this can be used for the d3s and the s9s as well you can google let's say litecoin mining pool for example and you can find your litecoin mining pool whichever pool you want to you want to use okay now i use a i do a bit of mining third party mining with a company called via btc okay so on their pool i've made an account i've logged in um, LTC pool up here you can change your different pools okay so LTC pool I've gone to you scroll down towards the bottom and this is your pool address so you want to copy this okay you want to paste this into pool one which is what I've got here okay on via BTC for example if you were to use them as well you use your login name okay and you can use any generic password. It doesn't matter what you put in as the password. And then as a backup pool, you want to use, you can see here they've got note port 25 and 43 is available as well, which are, which are backup pools. So if this one goes down, it automatically cuts over and start using these pools. You can also change um, settings. There's a pool which mines the most profitable pool for you called zpool.ca, okay? And in here, you've got the URL settings. So if I was using the L3, I would put this in, this URL here. Okay, I'd put this in as my, say, pool one. Or if I wanna have another backup pool, I can put it as like pool three. Okay, so that means if this pool goes down, it'll start mining in this pool. You put in your wallet address for this site, zpool.ca, they pay you out in Bitcoin. It mines whatever the most profitable coin is and pays you out. And then the password, you copy and paste this in if you're using the L3. Okay, if you're using the D3, same thing, you pop, copy these settings in. So that's pretty much it, guys. Once it starts running, okay, you can come under the minor status tab and you'll see that it's been going for X amount of time. You'll see the hash rate that you're generating. So this is L3, which will generate about 500 uh, megahertz per second. Okay, and you can see the pool here. So this is the amount of get works. This is the priority. It's, it goes that pool, you know, first pool, second pool, third pool. This pool's obviously been up the whole time. Otherwise, if this pool dropped out, it would you'd see accepted shares and so forth on this one. So hope that helps you guys a lot. And um, you know, there's not a lot of uh, instruction with these things, so it took a little while for me to you know, just just do the basic setup. Um, the biggest thing is basically just finding out which pool you want to mine on. Um, and obviously with the setup in the things, you can customize the fan speeds in here. Like if you're in a very, very hot environment, you can set this to a higher percentage, maybe 85, 90% or something like that. Um, and that's, that's about it. If you want to set, if you've got a bunch of them and you want to set a static IP, so you know what the IP address is in the future under the network tab here, you can call this something else. Like let's say you have 10 L3 machines, you can call it L1, L2, L3, whatever. You can change this to static and you can put in your local IP address so you know which one is which. Okay, and then you can label and we'll do whatever you want to do. So I hope that helped you guys a lot and uh, I'll catch up with you guys soon. I do have, uh, you'll probably see one of my other videos. I've got 7D3 set up. I've got an L3 set up. 
and I've got six S9s on the way, so I'll do a video on the S9s as well. So uh, peace out, guys. Take it easy. Have a good one.